look, I get it. You're pissed. You can't hit something to your left hand. I'm gonna help you with that. The only way you're gonna hit stunts to your left hand is when you start forgetting about your right. Everything goes to left. There is no more right anymore. You warm up to left. You do stunts to left. You try new stunts to left. That's all there is. You only do left. That's the only way you're gonna get better at it. Not trying it once or twice every couple weeks. Something that helped me when I was learning was that right when I was holding the feet, I just turned my fingers out and I pointed them to the outside and turned my wrist in. And that way when I went up to the actual cupy, my elbow was turned in and it was a lot better of a position for me to stand up in even though it felt super weird. By the way, I'm really only talking to right-handed people, which is most of the people. If you guys are left-handed and you learn to left cupy first, you can just apply the same things to the right. Next tip I will give you is reps are gonna make you more comfortable with the actual stunt. You see, if you do it a couple times and you get nervous because it feels like weird as hell, you gotta actually keep trying it a lot more to make it feel better because that's the only way it's gonna be comfortable at all for you. Um, if you do it a couple times a week, like I said before, it's not gonna become normal for you. It's always gonna be a weird stunt and you're gonna want to avoid it. Don't avoid it. If you avoid it, you're gonna stop learning on this side of your body and that's extremely unhealthy in general for your, just your whole body chemistry. If you're gonna do things to your right arm, do it to your left. Just like if you're gonna do a press with the weight on your right arm, do it to your left because it's gonna build your body in the evenly instead of it being so unproportioned. And I'm pissed because my right arm is longer than my left arm and that really pisses me off sometimes. Another tip I have for you is don't throw it too high and don't throw it too low. Okay, you wanna give it that perfect amount. It's gonna, obviously, everything's gonna take reps, but get that perfect level and give it that perfect amount of power from the bottom, obviously using your legs and then your arms, and then you're gonna want to push it all the way up to the top and making sure that you only give it enough for you to lock out easily. So if you throw it too high, then it's gonna come crashing down on you. And if you don't give it enough power, you're gonna be like, oh, I'm not strong enough. But you are strong enough, you just gotta give it a little bit more. If you're working on left cupies, then you should have a solid base of what actual stunting is. And you should know that if you, you need to go right above your nose, and it's not directly over your nose, but it's a little bit just like in line with your eye. And just keeping it right there, if it starts going out to the side and you hurt, and you start like feeling it in your shoulder, you know that's not right so bring it closer to yourself and also if the flyer is stepping over to the left side too much just make sure to tell her that nicely so you guys can still work together and lastly because i want to get you guys out of here to go stunt just shrug through your shoulder okay it's the same with the right arm if you push through your let shrug through your shoulder you're going to be a lot stronger of a base because it's more of a line and it's just, it's a lot stronger, it doesn't matter how strong you are. And the left side, sometimes we forget what it kind of feels like because we're so used to it on the right, if you're righty. But in the left side, make sure you shrug through your shoulder and push through, just like right here, push through, shrug through your lat, and just kind of get used to that feeling because you're obviously used to it on this side, so think, okay, this is what it feels like on this side, and then I'm gonna keep on, I'm gonna do this at home, like I do this all the time. When I was learning, I would hold any object over my head and just hold it there and just feel what it feels like for my left, body, left side of my body to do that. And then I would drill that and just kind of think. Um, so I'd practice and then think, practice and think. And then that's what got me to where I am now. And just keep drilling that and you're soon gonna get there. Just keep grinding at it, you got this. If the flyer's ankles are tipping back on you and you feel that almost every single time, either she's on her heels too much or you're just relaxing your fingers way too much. You know, like you should have a nice solid palm for her to stand on, but also, you, I mean, this whole thing is your palm. It's not technically, but like this whole thing is, it's a platform and this whole thing has to be level enough for her to stand on. Now, if your fingers are relaxing and they're bending back like this, then that's not gonna allow her to stand because she stands in her whole, like the whole foot, the whole part of her foot is what she stands on, you know, so you can't neglect any part of it, except maybe the toes. But when you're holding it, push through your fingers, not like this, don't be like this, because that's gonna tip her off the front. Just keep it a nice flex and keep your wrists tight, and that will actually keep her a nice, more solid of a platform for her to actually stand on. All right, that's it. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of this. I'm gonna do a lot more videos like this, 
tutorial is coming at you. That's what it's up. That's what's up, my guy. Okay. We're gonna start, we're gonna keep this up. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching this YouTube video. Um, peace out.